What is it like for me to be the first African GM president executive uh, in all of American sports? It absolutely means zero. I hate hearing it and I, I, and I hate talking about it, but this is what I'll tell you about it. The longer I do it, the more embarrassing it is for me because when, when is the next person coming along? Who have I helped? How many African kids, how many African youth have I helped to, to, to be in a position like this one day? That's what you put on your shoulder, like being, being from the continent of Africa right there. That's the weight that I put. me it's our jobs man go freaking do it <laughs> you know like what the hey like you you win you know like win that that to me in sports go and win you know like how do you figure out a way to win i'm looking for talent i'm an nba executive looking for an nba player but i'm also from africa Giants of Africa, I don't even know how to describe it because we started as a basketball camp, but uh, for me, any way that I can be an advocate to encourage youth uh, through sports, uh, to build opportunity, you know? How do you teach these kids basic life skills, you know, like in a basketball camp? That's where they are more attentive. How do you teach them to be on time? How do you teach them to be honest, uh, to respect women? How do you teach a kid to stand up and say his name and where he's from? My name is Masai Ujiri and I'm from Nigeria and I'm proud of it. How many kids can stand up and say that? My name is Nigeria Dillon, I'm from Kigo. We have hundreds and hundreds of kids that come to camp and um, there's only one or two that make the NBA. It's, they, that's the fact. So what happens to the others? That was my challenge. Patrick Mutombo is an assistant coach. He never played in the NBA. He's from the Congo. Jama Mahalela, he's from uh, um, uh, Swaziland. He never played one day in the NBA. I didn't play one day in the NBA. There's so many things you can do um, from playing this game with a passion. I, I don't know that I'm the smartest person. I'm not even close to these kids. And if a dumbass like me can actually like, like be in this position, like, how can these brilliant kids that have talent even have more exposure than I had? You know, like, then I, I have to figure out a way to, to show them a path. I, I, don't, I don't want to get in trouble for saying it, but I'll say it here. We've played two NBA games in, in, in South Africa. The NBA would love to take the game all over the continent, you know? How can we take an NBA game to Nigeria? How do we take an NBA game to Senegal and go play? Well, guess what? There are no arenas that can host uh, an NBA game. And that's a challenge for us. That's a challenge for me. And I think Adam Silver is beginning to see this. We're beginning to figure out ways that we can start attacking these issues. I wish the Dikembe Mutombos and the Akim Olajuwon players of that caliber came in this time of Twitter and Instagram. I almost think that sometimes they played in the wrong era and the way it would have raised the level of the game in Africa would have been incredible. There are no uh, leagues, there are like prominent leagues to go scout games and I think sometimes it discourages people but on a selfish note I hope we are the only ones over there and I have three guys that are on the ground you know like and I, I've, I've given them a date and told them if you don't find me and Akeem before this date I'm gonna switch up on you guys. <laughs>